This story is very disturbing. A Syria Leone woman by the name of Yehabu Dumbuya was said to have traveled to Oman to work as a maid. Now, it's unclear how long she had been there or how long she has been working for the people she's working for. However, just recently, the child of her employer fell sick. It was a little girl. And so Yehabu, as the maid that she is, automatically began to care for the little sick girl. I also want to believe she's also the nanny because I understand that this housemaid multitask while they are there. They get to clean, cook, and look after the children of their employers. However, just sometime within last month or earlier this month, in April of 2022, it was said the little girl was hospitalized because her condition had gone worse. And after a few days in the hospital, she dies. Her family were heartbroken as they should. And it's not stated the condition that took her life, but it was certain that it was a long illness. It's not that she died instantly. Regardless of that fact, after her death, the employers began to blame Yehabu. Yabu was instantly accused of killing the girl. She was accused of poisoning the little girl and causing her death. And it was said that Yabu tried to plead her case. She said that she was not the one, how could she have done it? But clearly you could tell that the family was filled with grief. And I understand in cases like this, the housemaids get the heat. The housemaids usually get the most heat. If the child had injured, they would still have blamed her. If the child did not sleep early, she would still be the one to be blamed. I understand the fact that when it comes to housemaids and the children that they look after, the maids are usually the ones held responsible for whatever may happen to that child. But for this little girl's case, it was said she suffered an illness that took a while and eventually got her to the hospital and then took her life. But for some reason, the employers are convinced that Yabu was the one who caused the death of the little girl. And as if the accusation was not bad enough, you won't believe the actions the family of this little girl are planning or saying that they would take as regards her allegedly causing the death of their child. I mean, you would think now that the family have accused the Abu of causing the death of their child that they will call the police, lock her up and you know, charge her for the death of the little girl. Unfortunately, the parents of that little girl are doing much worse. They are saying that they are going to traditionally take the life of Yabu. Yes, they say that they were going to kill Yabu because Yabu killed their daughter. According to my sources, Yabu was given a chance to communicate with her family, in which she sent a voice note, I think through WhatsApp. And in the voice note, you could hear her crying bitterly. Even though she spoke in their native language, it was interpreted that she was crying and telling her family to look after her children telling her family that she loves them and begging them not to maltreat her children because she is no longer coming back again. If anything, that she's only going to come back in her dead body. In the voice note, she was seriously crying and explaining a lot of things, explaining the situation that her employers have all agreed that her life would be taken. It's unclear how they had planned to do it. It's unclear how they had planned to kill her. But clearly, the employer's family had made up their mind that they were going to execute her. And I hate to be stereotypical. I hate to buy into the stereotype of certain groups of people. But we're talking about Oman here. This is an Arabic country. Some of the most brutal videos that have circulated around the internet. You know, videos of people getting killed in the bush, getting butchered, with men wearing handkerchief over their face or wearing a mask. Some of those videos are from this Arabic country. Some of these videos are from countries like that. And her story reminded me of a particular video that went viral. A particular video that went viral of a pregnant woman being killed in such manner. All because she caused the death of an employer's child, I guess. I don't remember the story verbatim, but I know at the time a particular horrific video was circulating in the internet and people explained the situation and it turned out that the person being killed was being killed by her employers because she caused the death of something. Just something similar to this. That was why when her story came to me, I had to remind myself of that story that happened a long time ago. I still have the horrific video in my head. So obviously, when the family said that they were going to take her life, it just clicked to me that I guess this is what they do there. It's not as if their law accepts it. I'm sure the laws there frown at it, but that doesn't stop them from doing it anyway. After all, she's African, she's a maid. They don't think anyone would care for her. Even if her story goes viral, they don't think their government is going to arrest all of them for doing such to a foreigner. Which is very scary. I can't imagine if she has been locked in a prison in the, in the house or if she has been held in a room or if they're going to take her, tie her up and take her to a bush, film it and just do horrible things to her. So guys, as at the time of editing this video, I got an update regarding the story. It's being said that the Sri Leone government is aware of the situation and they have started making arrangements 
to get Yabu home which means there is a chance that she may not be killed again which means there is a chance that she would survive this the names of her employers have also been released and it's almost as if the voice note she sent to her family was done secretly and i think that is why she's actually um, being released maybe if her employers did not give her a phone or maybe if she did not find a way to communicate with her family they would have just killed her and said she died from an accident but for the fact that she communicated with her family and told them the situation and told them what her employer said to her and the story suddenly went viral in Sierra Leone, the government has you know acted very fast in trying to bring this woman back home to her family so i guess this is good news in the end we just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope that Tiabo comes back to Syria alone her life. I'm sorry for the loss of her employers, but if they believe she caused the death of their daughter, shouldn't they take it to court and prove it normally and prove it legally like everyone accused of murder is? Because let's say they succeed in killing this woman and then they are caught. They would want to be taken to court, right? So why didn't they give this woman the chance to prove her case in court? For them to want to deliberately take her life it shows that they were just angry that their daughter died because the daughter was supposed to be in her care. They did not have any evidence that she killed her. They, I don't even think she did anything to the little girl. They were angry, they were hurt, and they needed somebody to blame. And I guess, of course, the maid would be the right person to blame. I'm just glad Yabu is given a chance to come back home. And I am glad the Sierra Leone government is acting fast. This is very impressive. Let me know your thoughts on this story, guys. Don't forget to keep an eye on this page like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.